welcome back to my channel. If you've noticed already, I've had my lashes done and I feel like a whole new woman. But also don't look at my hands because I haven't had time to put my nails in. So I've got nice lashes, my hands aren't looking so great, but at least I have a nice glow on. So it kind of evens out. Well, you guys loved my first Shein haul, so I thought I would do another one. The first one I did was actually spring of last year, but I will leave a card up here in case you guys wanna watch it because Shein does still stock a lot of the stuff that I featured in that video as well, which is also like a mid-sized try-on. And I also kind of go through the delivery, the packaging, and the experience of shopping Shein, whereas here I'm just gonna feature on the clothes. So if you're interested in like shipping and packaging and all of that sort of stuff and making an order, I would definitely go and watch that video. I'll also leave a link in the description down below. So for this Shein haul, I think I did spend about 200 pounds and I ordered everything on express delivery express it's not it's not exactly express but it's express for Shein it was free because the amount that I ordered was so high so I think if you spend over like 150 pounds or something you get free express delivery so I would recommend that because the normal delivery take ages it takes absolutely forever but um actually <laughs> this stuff came in two packages I got two dresses within a week of the order being made and then everything else came within like 10 days which is actually really quick for Shein I'm pretty sure that my last order from Shein took two to three weeks like it took quite a long time that could have been because of the covid situation but it actually all came really quite quickly this time around I am so excited to share what I got with you guys I have been really impressed with Shein this time around like before um, my last experience, the experience was like so so, like some of the stuff wasn't the best quality, a lot of the stuff didn't fit me. This time around I think we've hit some, like a home run. I feel like we've got so many good pieces here and I, th I feel like the quality of Shein just has just edged up a little bit because um, I've had nothing that's arrived. I just feel and think, wow, this is really crappy. Everything feels at least high street quality. Some of the pieces are even higher quality than what you would get at high street shops like New Look. So <laughs> I'm really excited to share them with you guys. I just thought I'd give you guys some information about me and my body type before the try on. I'm a UK size 10 with a hourglass figure. I have a 32 E cup chest and I have very wide hips and thicker thighs. So that is my body type. So when you see me try them on, that's my body type. And I'm also five foot two, so I'm quite petite. So I'm not the tallest person. With that being said, I think we should just get into the haul. Let's do it. Okay, so the first item I have to share with you guys is this knitted dress. Um, as soon as I saw it, I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, hold on a minute, I've started this haul without my phone, so I can't see what sizes I got. Hold on a minute. Okay, so I've got the app up on my phone so I can tell you guys the sizes I got and how much everything cost because she and clothes never come with any tags, so there's no like tag inside and there's no tag on the product. So let's have a look. So I got this in a size small and I got it for $12.49. So from the reviews, I thought a size small would fit me because it is actually very, very stretchy. It is a nice and stretchy dress. It is a bodycon and I do have hip dips. So if you see it on me, you can see my hip dips and stuff like that. Embrace your hip dips, people. They are totally normal. They are your bone structure. So that being said, it is a little bit short. Now, I don't know if that is because I'm curvy and I do have like wider hips and a bigger bum, but it is a little bit short. Like it's it's just very short. It comes up right at the top of my thighs and I just would not be able to wear this out. So straight up, I will be returning this. I might try and get it in a medium, but I, then I don't know if it will be too baggy at my waist, but it might give me some extra length. I just don't know, but I definitely would recommend this because the quality is insane. The quality is, is insane. I, I'm really sad that this doesn't fit nicer. I just, it's just the length, just a little bit like this much more length and I would keep it, it is gorgeous. But I just know I wouldn't wear it because of the, the fact that if I walked, I would definitely flash someone. And I'm only five foot two, so um, I'm pretty oh, like small. So if you're taller than me, just be wary of this, but it is gorgeous. It's a knitted dress with this lovely abstract print. Unfortunately, the top is not adjustable. It's fixed, so it's fixed around your neck. You can't adjust that, but I didn't find any problems with it. The back is backless, and then this bit just sits at the small of your back. It's knitted throughout, and obviously that's the other side. Like, it is definitely 
completely knitted and it is also elasticated. I absolutely love this dress and I'm really sad that it's too short. Um, it's, it's really rare for me to get things that are too short. For example, this dress that I'm wearing is a midi dress but it's pretty much a maxi on me because I am five foot two. So often things are much um, longer on me than they intend to be. This on the other hand is super short. So I might try and order this in a medium but it is gorgeous and if you're thinking about ordering this, you will love it. It's just, it's stunning. Next up in dresses, we have another one. This one is something that I picked up because I thought, I thought it, that it was like floral, but looking at it in person, it's definitely leopard print. Let me just, let me just check. Yeah, so it says on here, sheared back, ruched bust, ditzy floral slip dress. So it's definitely supposed to be a ditzy floral dress. I got it in a size small and it was 16.49. It definitely looks leopard print to me or animal print. I'm gonna bring you guys in so you can have a look. Is it just me or is that animal print? That doesn't look floral to me, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Nevertheless, I actually love this dress. I love it, it looks so good on. I'm wearing a size small and it fits like a glove, it fits perfectly. The back is ruched, so it's really good if you do have a larger bust and the waistline is obviously elasticated. It is really, actually really good for a larger bust. I was so concerned um, with a dress like this that it would just be for a smaller chest, but it looks so cute. Also, top marks having adjustable straps, which I actually needed to get some more support, so love that. It has this crossover effect on the front, which means that this panel here is slightly see-through. Um, the rest of it, the bottom is like completely lined, so don't worry about that, like it is lined. Just this panel here is see-through. I'm not sure if that's meant to be like that or not, but um, it's a little bit see-through, but it doesn't really bother me that much because the top is completely lined, the bottom is completely lined. You could go braless in this if you really wanted to because this is completely lined. I really, really like it in terms of a cute little summer dress that you could just throw on. This is it, and I'm really impressed. Even though the pa the pattern isn't exactly what I wanted, I, I kind of like it like that. So Shein, um, I'm actually okay with this. This is cute, and I would buy it in a different color. So yeah, really like this one. Next up in dresses, we have this one. This was expensive. This was 19.49, and I got it in a size medium this was just on the recommendations i do tend to look at the reviews to kind of gauge what my sizing would be so i got this in a medium and i do wish i got it in a small um i i feel like the sizing on sheen can be a little bit misleading um yeah i just wish i got it in a small there's nothing else i can say it is just slightly too big do i think it's really cute yes it is really really cute it's got like chiffon puffy sleeves the front is fully elasticated like the sleeves are here and the bust line is like a gorgeous kind of almost like a sweetheart style neckline the floral pattern stunning and i think the one thing that just lets it down is the fact that i got it thinking that these ties at the front would be adjustable that you'd be able to pull them and it would cinch in the waist a little bit like here that's that's not what happens they're literally just for display and i'm really quite gutted about that because i feel like it would have made for a really cute dress to be able to like cinch it in the waist like pull the ties and it would just like come in like this i think that would be really cute but again this is shein so i'm <laughs> i'm assuming that it's like all style and no practicality so i do feel like if i reordered this in a small it would fit really really nicely and um, the medium was just a bit too big do i like the dress yes is it worth 20 pounds Yes, I feel like if I saw this on the high street and it was 20 pounds, I would buy it. So I do feel like it's worth it. It feels really good quality. And um, I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit on the crunchy side, but that's just the lining. Um, and again, it's fully lined. So I, I, there's nothing really to complain about. This is the chiffon bit here, which is also really nice. And then it is completely fully lined and not see-through at all. So I mean, quality wise for, for 20 pounds it is actually really good and I'm really surprised so I feel like I just got the wrong size in this one but I'm not gonna lie to you guys I actually felt really cute wearing this I really did feel cute wearing this I kind of didn't want to because I was like oh the material is a bit crunchy crunchy you know but I actually felt really cute wearing this I do actually really really like it it fits really nicely the neckline can be a straight like a uh, square neck if you want but you could wear it off the shoulder if you prefer these ties they don't tighten anything but you can tie them up 
Alex was at work when I filmed the cutaways, so I didn't have him to do them up, so they're loose on me. But you can tie those up and they do look really, really cute. The puff sleeve is also really, really nice as well. The sleeves are elasticated. I mean, it is a really nice dress. The only thing that lets it down is the material. But if you can get over that on, it's a really nice dress. And I was actually so surprised at how cute I felt in this one. So as long as you don't mind the material so much, I, I think you'll really like this one because it looks so pretty on. Okay, this is the last dress I have to share with you guys and it's my favourite. It's my favourite out of all of them. Look at it. This is Shein. Can we, can we have a moment? Can we please just take it in? This is Shein. So this is the pattern. That's the waistline and the bust line here and then the sleeves are chiffon. So this one's in a size small, and it was about 17 pounds, I think. And uh, <laughs> I love it, I love it. This is the best one out of all of these dresses, I think. It looks so expensive, it does not look sheet in at all. I also absolutely love the fact that the bust line is adjustable, like it's, it's stretchy, right? This line is stretchy. This line is stretchy. The whole dress is stretchy. It's so comfortable. If you're looking for a nice like garden barbecue dress or maybe even like a wedding kind of dress and you don't mind it being a little bit of a short dress, not a long dress, um, this is perfect because you could get like a food baby in this and be totally fine, be totally comfortable. It also is just really comfortable on the shoulders because the whole top of this dress is stretchy which is amazing the sleeves are really nice as well the one thing the one thing that i would say is a bit eh, is the fact that the elastic on the sleeves is a little bit tight so it does dig in a little bit but you could totally stretch that out and make it more comfortable i would say if you're going to get any dresses out of this haul and like price isn't an object like you don't mind spending a little bit more money on shein if you've got like a discount code to use or something this is cute i would recommend feels like something you'd get in a normal high street shop it's not the most amazing quality i've ever felt like it is kind of that synthetic chiffon -y type material but i love it and it looked amazing on it looks so much more expensive than it is and i feel like when i wear this in the summer so many people are gonna ask where it's from and i'm gonna be like girl it's she in yeah i absolutely love this one and just to clarify the small fit perfectly because there is also all this stretchiness so if you have a larger chest like me you will be fine in this and if you don't you'll also be fine in this because it is just made really really nicely and it fits like a, it fits like a dream okay next up we have cohorts i have two to share with you guys and i want to be straight up with you guys i think these are the most expensive things in this order as soon as i saw this cohort in this gorgeous white and lilac floral print um yeah i wanted it it was 20 20 something pounds over 20 pounds 25 maybe it was expensive for sheen i also got a size medium because the top you'll so you'll see all of this better on me because it's difficult with cohorts but the top is one of those where you tie it around the front and again I do have a larger chest so I wanted to make sure I had enough coverage if you did watch my first Shein spring haul I got a lot of tie front pieces and they genuinely just did not cover anything so I wanted to make sure that I got the size up so that I would have some coverage unfortunately I kind of had in mind that I would wear this top backwards so the way you're supposed to wear it is like this with the bits tied up I wanted to wear it like this and then tie up the back. Unfortunately, the back isn't lined. So the only part that is lined is this front bit before the ties. This little section here is the only piece that is lined and it means that you have to wear it that way round. And personally, I don't think I'd feel comfortable wearing it tied like that because there is still a lot on show. I think if I got some boob tape and stuck it down, I wouldn't feel as like nervous about it, but it, it I would just say this is not meant for a large chest. And my idea of wearing it this way round just doesn't work because it just is not lined. You can see straight through it, like I can see it straight through it. So it would be all nipple. So unfortunately, I will be sending this one back. But the main reason that I wanted to share this set with you guys is because it is really nice. <laughs> like the quality of it is so lovely. It's gorgeous. It looks so cute. The pattern is gorgeous. I would say one letdown is obviously the tie again is just decorative, it doesn't tighten it up, it's just on there for decoration purposes, which I find really annoying. 
The medium fit quite nicely on my waist, a little bit big. I could have done with a small in this. If you're looking for a really good quality cohort that looks far more expensive than it is, this is it. It's really impressive and the quality of it feels, it just feels gorgeous. It feels absolutely lovely. Okay, so this is cohort number two. This is a midi skirt and top combo. You'll see these so much better on me because obviously like juggling two pieces is quite difficult, but this is the front of the top and then it ties up at the back. Again, you'll see this better on me. But the top is fully elasticated like this. The sleeves are elasticated. The back of the top is elasticated. All in all, I will say this, I love this top. Like this top on its own. It's not the best material, I'll be honest with you guys. It's a little bit crunchy crunchy, but it's softer than the yellow dress I showed you guys earlier. If this top just came on its own, I would want this top because this top is stunning and it, it's so flattering. It really, really is. I was shocked at how flattering this top is. You can wear it on the shoulder, you can wear it really off the shoulder, you can tie it as tight or as loose as you want in the back. So you can customize it to your body. It is a really, really flattering piece. On the other hand, there is the midi skirt, which, which is okay, it fit me. It actually fit me really nicely. It has this wide band at the front, a zip down the back, a ruffle layer here at the bottom. And this is the pattern. There's the ruffle at the bottom. And on me, it actually did fit like a midi. It fit like mid calf, which I was really, really impressed with. All I would say is that it is, not the most comfortable dress. It's definitely something that you wouldn't be able to eat or drink too much in. I wouldn't anyway. It does fit me really nicely in this size, but I feel like I wouldn't have a lot of room to eat or drink because unlike the top, which is totally elasticated and comfortable, this is not like, this is, this is not elasticated. This is not comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of feel like they missed a trick with making this elasticated, at least at the back, that would have been really good so that the two pieces would make sense together. So one of the pieces is really comfortable, the other piece isn't. I would just want to keep the top, really. I might have a look on Shein and see if they do like any of just that top. But I know I probably wouldn't get that much wear out of this skirt because I wouldn't be able to wear it somewhere where I'd be eating or drinking like a full meal, just because I feel like it would get quite tight, like this waistband is quite large and I think that it would tighten up. Is it cute? Yes, if you want to wear it somewhere where you know you won't be sitting and having a full meal uh, or that's something like that doesn't affect you that much, maybe you don't get a food bag or you don't bloat that much, you will love this. It's really nice. I, I feel like it is a really nice set. It looks great on film, it looks great in pictures, but practically I'm not going to get wear out of it. So I will be returning this one. Okay, so I've got one skirt to share with you guys. It is yellow. <laughs> it is very, very yellow. It also has a slit up like this up the side to there and it is this gorgeous yellow color. I'll show you the floral pattern here. It's not the floral that I kind of was expecting, but um, it's still it's still pretty. It's, it's a bit cartoonish, but we move. So this one I got in a small and it was 11 pounds and if it actually fits really nicely. The waistband is quite large. It has a zip down the back. It is again, it's one of those skirts that I wouldn't really be able to eat that much in because I do, I do feel like these skirts get a little bit tight. It's not nearly as bad as the other one I just showed you guys because it does flare out. Can you see that? So it does kind of have an A-line fit, whereas the other one, it kind of comes straight down. So you really are quite restricted. This one is definitely more flowy and I love the slit in it. I think it's really cute. It is, however, really long on me. <laughs> so it is a total maxi, like to my ankles maxi length. And the color is far more like canary yellow than the yellow I was imagining. So like seeing it like this, I was a bit like, girl, what did you order? You're never gonna wear this. And then I put it on and I was like, oh, this is cute. So what I might do is actually have a look at the other colors available in this skirt because I'm pretty sure they have it in like blue, pink, like a variety of colors. And I went for yellow. Saying that the yellow is actually really nice. It does suit me. So I don't mind it that much. Like I like it far more on than off. I hope that makes sense, but I like it far more like on my body in the mirror than I do holding up. Holding up, I'm like, girl, but on, I really like it. So I would say that the quality is actually really quite nice as well. It's quite true to size. I got a size small. So if you're looking for like a basic midi 
or maxi if you're in my case it's a maxi just to kind of wear maybe layered with t-shirts and blazers or maybe a jumper like a slogan jumper or something i think it would look really really cute so yeah for the price i actually think it was a really good price i'm just not sure if i got the right color for me let me know in the comments what you think but i might have a look at the other colors available because there were quite a few if i remember and there's bound to be one that i like okay so i'm gonna straight up say i am so impressed with shein tops i've got some tops to share with you guys and every single one impressed me so much. So this is the first one. I think it was about £12. It's going to be really difficult for me to show you like this. So I'm going to put the cutaway like right here because I'm not going to be able to show you well like this. But um, this is basically the top. So basic, so you tie this like around your neck and then these long bits tie around your waist and it makes this gorgeous gorgeous top. I struggle to do this up on my own so I would say if you have a friend, a family member, a partner that can help you do this up, that would help you a lot. Doing this up all up on my own was a mission but we got it on. I got it in a size medium because of this situation and I do feel like the medium was a good fit. I probably could have done with a large to be completely honest with you. There isn't a lot of material there. There really, really isn't. For a medium as well, um, there isn't a lot of material there. Even with the medium, I do get side boob on both sides, but like everything in the middle is covered. So that is totally fine. Will I keep this top? Yes. <laughs> I really, really like it. I think that the pattern is also gorgeous. That's the pattern. That's the pattern there. I think it's gorgeous. I love the colours together, the green, the kind of yellow, the pink, the orange. I think it looks so cute and it looks far more expensive than it is. One thing I would say is also the material feels like something you'd get on ASOS. It's really good quality and it's been put together so well, like the pleating, like the pleating all down the front here. It's been put together so well. Like I'm genuinely really, really impressed with this top. I can't get over it. I love it. I hope that they come, kind of bring out like a cohort piece or something because this sort of feels like it should be a cohort. It feels like it should have like a skirt with it or something. So please, Shein, bring this pattern out in something else because it is stunning. Or maybe a different colorway of this pattern, like maybe orange and blue or something. Oh my God, stunning. Or like pink and purple, stunning. Guys, <laughs> this piece is so impressive. I absolutely love it. It's so on trend. I, I can't praise, I can't praise it enough basically. So if you're thinking about buying this, go buy it. It's a sign. Okay, next up I have this little mushroom top. It's just the cutest, isn't it? It's just, look at it, look at, look at it. Guys, I'm gonna show you it up close because obsessed. It's actually knitted. So it's not printed or anything. It's like properly knitted on. And the material is like, it's gorgeous, like a strawberry milkshake, pink eyelash, and it's knitted, it's knitted. £10.49 on Shein. When I ordered this, I was like, there's no way that's knitted. It's printed. It's going to have to be printed on or sewn on or something. It's not going to be fully knitted. It's fully knitted. Guys, um, <laughs> order it. If you're thinking of ordering this, order it. You're going to love it. It's really good quality. I cannot fault it one bit. It's adorable. The colour, pink, is gorgeous. I genuinely don't think that I could fault it at all. I think that it's just so cute. I love that it's sort of that cut off tank, but it's not like a v-neck or anything. It sits really, really nicely on as a cropped jumper, like a cropped, what do you call it? Like a cropped sweater, I guess. Just so you guys know, I did get this one in a size medium, just so it fit a little bit more oversized. I'm really glad I did. I feel like if I got this in a small, it would have been too skin tight and I wouldn't have liked the fit as much, but I'm so, so glad I ordered this. If you want to see the back, it's just plain. And then it's got the little mushroom on the front, which is just so cute. I am really glad I ordered it. It might be come, it might have come out in other colours by now. Usually when she makes something like this, if it does really well, they'll bring it out in other colours. So if you're looking for it in other colours, keep in keep that in mind. I'd love for them to bring it out in like a periwinkle blue like this. How cute would the mushroom look with the red on the blue? It would look so cute. But I can't wait to wear this. I don't even know how I'm gonna style it, but I really can't wait to wear this. Guys. $8.99. Are you having a laugh, Shein? What? Oh my god. Straubs. They're... They are straubs. I... Shein, what are you doing to me? So when I saw this, I just thought, oh my god, cute, just like the mushroom one. I kind of had a bit of an internal battle. I was like, oh, but the mushroom's a pink cropped vest, sweater vest. 
This is a pink cropped sweater vest, but um, I was like, well, one of them's mushroom, one of them's strawberry, so it's, it's, it's different, whole. I mean, come on. So I did buy them both. So this one is definitely um, not eyelash lace. It's just a knit top. And then the strawberries are knitted onto it as well. I would say that the quality of this one is not as high. Like, let me see if I can show you guys. So there you can see the edges of the strawberry are a little bit distorted, as is here. But the actual quality of the piece is really, really nice. It does feel very soft. It is quite lightweight. It's not a very um, heavy uh, knit. So you could definitely wear this for spring. I think for the price, it is worth it. I mean, it might not be the best quality, but it is very cute. And from far away, I don't think you could really tell that there's a little bit of distortion around the strawberries. I think that's just from the knitting process. So if you are thinking of picking this up, I, I would say it's very cute. This is the medium on me. And as you can see, it's not as cropped as the mushroom one but it fits really nicely especially if you want to wear a shirt underneath or something like that or wear, even wear it over a dress like this it is a really nice fit for that and I do see myself wearing it with a cute little um tennis skirt and shirt underneath I think it'll be really cute the back is hasn't got anything on it which is slightly disappointing but it is sheer and for that price I don't expect there to be knitting or embroidery on the back so that's totally fine. I would say <laughs> if you're thinking of ordering this as well, you will you will like it. Just don't expect the best quality in terms of the craftsmanship. But if you're looking for something like this, this design, and you are on a budget, um, you're gonna love this. So yeah. Right, last top to share with you guys is this one. Now, <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. I really, really am obsessed with this piece. It's got pattern on the front. It's got pattern on the back. It has pattern everywhere, like the whole thing is this gorgeous blue daisy pattern. I love it. I love the blue and I love the cream and it's very what I'm wearing now, same colour scheme, love it. They only had it left in a size large. Now I had it in my like saved or watch list on Shein for a long time. I had it on there for about two weeks. I actually was looking for pieces for about two weeks before I made this order just to make sure that I got what I wanted and I had a good a good look through the site because there is a lot on there. And I, I originally was gonna get it in a small. So I sized up twice just to order this because it just went out of stock so quickly. And by the time I ordered this, it was like three units left so hopefully that's changed by now. I'll leave links for everything in the description down below as always, but it's a bit too big. It's a bit too big. And I'm so torn. You guys have to let me know in the comment section down below because I'm really torn about whether to keep this or not because it is slightly too big than what I was envisioning for this top. So you have to let me know what you think in the comment section down below because I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so cute with a little tennis skirt. Oh, adorable, adorable, but is it too big? Let me know in the comments because your gal's torn. If you're thinking about ordering this and it's in stock, do it, you won't regret it. It is such a lovely top, it's really good quality. It's a lightweight knit, so you can see that it's a little bit see-through. I would definitely wear a blue or white bra underneath this, or nude, but it's a little bit see-through, so it's a little bit see-through, but for spring, it just looks so cute and it looks far, far more expensive than it was. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna keep an eye on the sizing and see if I can pick it up in maybe a medium, I think would be good. But if you're thinking of ordering this, again, you won't regret it. Shein tops are doing bits. Every Shein top that I ordered has been chef's kiss. So <laughs> guys, let me know what you think in the comments because I feel, I feel like I wanna keep it. Okay, next up is bags. So I bought two bags. This is the first one. And it is oh, cute, cute, cute. My voice broke, cute. Adorable. I'm so happy I ordered this. I was umming and ahhing over ordering this for ages. I was like, oh yeah, but what if it comes and it's like not as cute? What if it comes and it's really small? What if it comes and the flowers are ugly? What if it comes and the colors are different? And I was just like, you know what? If I'm worrying about it that much, let's just order it. Let's just see what it's like. It's not that expensive. Let's see what it's like. And it's adorable for a little shopper bag. For the summer to put your picnic bits in. Cute. Running some errands in Tesco. Cute. Um, going for a coffee, a little little coffee moment with a book. Cute. Cute. Very cute. Even with this outfit, I think the colour 
clashing kind of works as well. It is just the cutest. It also comes in a green, I think I'll put a pick here. I think it comes in a green, which comes in like with white flowers. And now that I've seen this, I'm going to order the green one because I think that these will be just really nice alternatives to sort of like the bags I have at the moment, which are just like random tote bags that I just kind of put on if I'm running to the store or um, going for taking myself for a coffee date where I want to bring a book and sit by the river and romanticize my life. This is going to be that bag now. I'm going to throw everything in here and be like, oh, you know, my sun cream and my book just to sit whimsically and read by the river. This will be it. Um, yeah, if you're thinking about ordering this as well, the quality is really, really, really nice, really well put together. That's the base as well. So it's not um, like it's not open weave at the base. It's got like a good base on it as well. So if you're thinking about ordering this one, I'd say do it. I'm going to order the green one as well because I like this one that much. And then there's this one. I kind of feel like I made a mistake ordering this one just because I was expecting quality from Shein and I kind of, in my head, I forgot that it would be printed. So it would be a printed image on a tote bag. So with Shein, I found that like the knits, the um, that woven bag, they are always really good quality. They really are good quality. But when it comes to them printing the fabric so with some of the dresses that are a bit more like crinkly and plasticky it's almost like they've been printed on like this the the quality isn't exactly there do i hate this bag no but it wasn't really the quality i was expecting i'll put a pic of what it looked like online here and this is the bag in real life just so you can see the difference so that is the pattern on the bag i feel like you can't really tell what it is in real life like you know it's some sort of flower i guess um, but you can't really tell what it is, it's kind of distorted a little bit. So I kind of wanted this to be like, oh, my cottagecore fantasy um, bag that would be like, oh, a painting, cute. Let me know in the comment section, are you getting that vibe? Do you feel like this looks like a painting of flowers? Um, I thought it'd be like, oh, whimsical. I mean, the bag itself fits really nicely. It does. Like, it sits on the shoulder really nicely. I feel like this would be a great shopping bag as well. Like, you know, off to get some fruit. You know as you do um but it is it's leaving a lot to be desired in my personal opinion i would say that they I, they have got a lot of these bags with different prints and stuff on i don't think that the others would be any better quality to be completely honest with you but if you wanted to see it this is what it looks like i kind of don't feel like that looks the way i wanted it to so i will be returning it um, and I think my money is better spent on getting another, the other colour of the bag I just showed you because I fell in love with that bag straight away. Last but not least, I bought some rings from Shein. They're all that sort of acrylic style, plasticky kind of ring that's in on trend right now. I have one on right now. This one is from ASOS. But I thought I'd pick some of these up and then I'll try them on camera with you guys just so you can see my reaction. The first one I'm going to try is this one, which is like a lemon one. So they have these in loads of different fruits. I mean, straight off the bat, I'm kind of not happy with the one I got. I feel like it's just not as cute as the one on the website. It's kind of got loads of broken pieces in. Hold on, let me show you. There, so I don't know if you guys, oh my God, I ignore my nails. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like some of them are like broken in there. It doesn't look as cute. I mean, it still is kind of cute, but it's not like as cute. But it was a pound, so I'm really not gonna complain all that much. Let's try it on. So that's what it looks like on. It does fit my ring finger. That is it on my hand there. My hand closed. Do it. Do I think it's cute? Yeah, I am going to keep it as well because I think there's no return policy on Shein jewellery. So I have to keep it. So there it is. I mean, it's still cute. I'll still wear it. I kind of just wish I got a cute one though. Do you know what I mean? Next up, we have this strawberry ring. So it's very much similar to the lemon one. You can also get Basically, you can get the strawberry one in the lemon one and the lemon one in the strawberry one. They're very similar. So that's what the strawberry one looks like. It's got like loads of pieces of strawberry. Unfortunately, there's like loads where there isn't a strawberry. Like there's just random gaps where there isn't anything, which is weird. But I think there's at least one side that has loads. But yeah, quite disappointed. If you look at it like this, there's loads where there is no strawberry, which is... A little bit, a little bit sad, but let's try it on. Okay, so that's the strawberry one on. 
hope you guys can see that quite clearly. I literally can't wear it any other way because if I do, then it just has gaps. So I'm a little bit disappointed that I got one with like loads of gaps and stuff, but if I wear it this way, it's still kind of cute. Again, it's not as cute as the photos like the lemon one, but I feel like that's just kind of what it is with Shein because these pieces are made so randomly and you're not always gonna get one that's really cute. I mean, no one would be able to tell unless they looked closely, so I don't mind that. Um, would I recommend them? For the price, I guess they're a pound, so yeah, I guess. But if you're looking for like premium quality jewelry, this isn't it, but if you're happy with a piece that's like gonna be imperfect, I think you're gonna be okay with these. Okay, so next up is this piece. Now, I actually don't know how I'm gonna get this on. Let me see if I can show you guys. It is, yeah, so it's like a chain. It's like an acrylic chain piece. I'm gonna try and put it on now. I have no idea which finger this is gonna go on or like how it's gonna fit me, but let's give it a go. Okay, okay. It's so hard to put on. Okay, okay, that's actually quite cute. I'm quite impressed with that. That actually looks quite impressive. That looks quite cute. Um, and it looks like really good quality. Um, it's not coming off either. Um, it is a little bit loose on my, my middle finger, which is kind of where I'd want to wear it. Maybe I can make it like a thumb ring or something. Oh yeah, so it could be a thumb ring as well. So that's kind of cute. Do I like it? Yes, I am. I'm happy with this one. I'm definitely happy with this one. And then the last one I've got is this ring which is like a little blue acrylic number. And none of these had sizes, by the way. So if I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna fit, it's because it's one size. So, and I do have bigger fingers. So <laughs> one size can be a little bit scary, but this one fits as well. So, so yeah, this one fits as well. That is it on like that. As can see, I really should have done my nails for this video, but um, that is it on like that. Do I like it? Yes, I, th I feel like I do like the blue one as well. Um, it's not my favorite, I kind of prefer the other ones. I kind of wish I didn't get the blue one, but um, if I'm wearing a blue outfit like this, it's a cute little accessory. I am actually so impressed with this one. This is my favorite out of all the rings. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I'm kind of like seeing how I feel. But yeah, I think that this white one is the one that I like the most. I think they also do it in like an acrylic, like clear. So um, I'll link those down below because yeah, I can't stop looking at it in the viewfinder. I really do like this um, white one, this one here. Yeah, I love this one. So cute. Okay, guys, that's everything in this video. Thank you so much for watching. What was my favorite piece in the video? One floral dress that I really liked, the last one. I really liked the tie up, tie back kind of top. I feel like that looks so much more expensive than it was. The mushroom cropped little top was really cute. The blue with the flowers, cute. The flower bag, cute. To be honest with you guys, there's so much in this haul that I really, really loved. The quality of the Shein stuff that I've received this time around is so much higher than the stuff I had before. I think that's partly to do with buying the slightly more expensive pieces. So the piece is more in the 15 to 20 pound range, which again, isn't that expensive in the grand scheme of things. But obviously if you're on a budget, it might be for you personally. I do feel like it's worth it for the value. I think that some, also some of the pieces like the mushroom top and the high back top, they're actually really affordable. They're under 15 pounds and they are really good quality. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for good quality like that, you will absolutely love them. As always, let me know what your favorite piece in the haul was in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.